five days, the ultimate pub crawl, or the peregrination. We're in Atla, actually looking at the view of the castle. Here is Hogarth and his 18th century band of barflies in front of Upna Castle. His peregrination was definitely a lad's holiday. It would be a crime to walk it alone. So I'm being joined by local Carol Donaldson. What do you think it would have been like in Hogarth's day down here? I think it would have been a, like it's busy today with, with yachts, but I think in, in Hogarth's day the river would have been a lot busier. Carol's a big Hogarth fan and a few years ago gathered together a group of ladies to recreate his peregrination. So I'm in safe hands. Yeah. Clay pipe. Oh, right, clay pipe. One thing I like about this is the, some of the sorts of traditions of this bit of Kent, that it's famous for its hops yeah. and famous for its, its apples as well, you know, cider and beer. You know, it's obviously had this kind of boozy history that Hogarth probably would well, have loved. I think Hogarth um, liked his drink, definitely. He had his own drinking spoon, I believe. And um, when I think one of the things that comes out from the diary is the kind of odd drinks that they drank in those days. So they have this drink that they make up, which is uh, half rough cider and half brandy with spices in it. And when I came and did the walk, I made up this drink. And wow. we, we all tried. It was, quite, it was quite potent stuff, but it was, uh, it was good. It, it kept was you good. walking, definitely. <laughs> Four miles along the River Medway is the village of Hood and its church, St. Boerberg. Hogarth's a bit, bit naughty here. Um, he, he untrusses himself, it says, against possibly this sort of church door here. You're too polite to say untrust himself. <laughs> well, you... <laughs> he, he, he actually does a poo here, I know, isn't it's it? terrible. And the, the, the door's since been bricked up. Probably I don't think because of that. Yeah, so maybe. Yeah, the <laughs> that was pretty naughty, wasn't it, really? So... But Tothall, who's this seaman who's probably seen everything, kind of, you can imagine a sailor, but nevertheless, I think he's pretty outraged by that, so he sort of gathers some nettles, may actually have been from here, and actually kind of think... whips Hogarth on yeah, the, on, on the back side. I think you could kind of sort of picture them doing it, and it's very much in the spirit of that whole trip, I think, where they have these funny fights with, with horse dung, and they have lots of water fights and that, and it's just this real kind of lads on holiday feeling. But I, I like that Hogarth roughness. Would you like me to whip you with nettles? Well, that you're asking? maybe later. <laughs> <laughs>